Hey y'all! What's up? My name is Kelsey K, otherwise known as Kelsey K M U A, and I wanted to thank you so much for being here today. Guys, I'm really excited to do this makeup look today because today is my first day of school! Okay, well obviously not like my very first day of school. However, today is the first day of the second summer... summer <laughs> first day of the summer semester, and I can't wait to get this class over with. <laughs> I want to go back to having like fun in the sun like this whole past week like you know right after finals has been like the most relaxed that I have probably been since like August of last year. <laughs> I have only about 30 more credits until I graduate with my bachelor's degree. I know that to some people they're kind of like how old are you like why are you still in college and I'm just like listen y'all I spent the first like four years of my life trying to get into a career that I knew ultimately wasn't for me but we can do another video about that later. So um, I am going to go ahead and do this makeup look. We can go ahead and jump right on into that. Okay, so I have quite a few um, different types of products that I really wanted to show you guys that I'm really excited about. Instead of using like a typical makeup primer, I'm actually going to be using a mixture of different types of skincare products that work for me really well as makeup primers. So today for primer in the T-zone, I have here from the Body Shop, this is the Tea Tree Pore Minimizing. I mean, it's, I guess, okay, it's just called the Pore Minimizer, but it's also kind of like a, almost like a lotion. Okay. So I like using this in the T-zone area just because of A, I have a combination skin type, so my T-zone gets extremely oily. Okay, but for foundation, today I am going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I have three different shades of foundation of this. I have shade 105 Natural Beige. I also have shade 103, this is Natural Buff, and 101 Classic Ivory because depending on the time of the year, I could be all three of these. I might be a combination of the three. I don't know. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my foundation mixing skills here. And I'm going to go ahead and mix together a foundation shade that is hopefully going to match my skin so that I can match this like chest here that never seems to be the same color throughout the day. So I'm going to take a little bit of the shade 101, a little bit of the 103, and then a really small dot of the 105. That's mostly like my summer shade. I feel like realistically right now I'm closer to the 103 shade because you can kind of see here it is a bit of a runnier formula um, but however I really do enjoy this foundation. So taking my Morphe blending sponge, I'm just going to go right in. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and jump into concealer. My favorite concealer right now is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I am going to be using shade C2. And guys, be aware, I do wear a lot of makeup for most people. I mean, this is... I mean, this is kind of just like how I learned how to do it. I This is just the way that I like to do my makeup. I like looking like... A full coverage queen you know and that's not the way that I always used to do my makeup Ooh, you know I really 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 want to do a video on how I used to do my makeup like when I first started really using makeup as an older teenager versus how I do my makeup now because I was going through some old photos on like Facebook and just thinking to myself like oh my god <laughs> How in the world could I have done my makeup like that for so long? It made my eyes look so droopy and bad. Oh my goodness, I, I couldn't take it. I just can't. I can't do it. And so for setting powder today, I am going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is the Mattifying Loose Powder. I really, really love this for the summertime too. Actually, just powders in general I really like for the summertime because I'm so freaking oily. And so during the summertime, it's just like, guess what? We're going to make all of our oil stand out forever. Yes! And I'm just like... 
Leave me alone. So I'm really going to pack this powder on my nose to get me through the entire day. Not like my day is very long. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon right now and my class starts at 6. But I figured I might as well just film. Okay, so even though I have a bunch of powder on my nose right now, I am going to go ahead and take my sponge. If I use too much of it, though, without wiping it off, I look like from White Chicks. <laughs> when she's like, give me a pat, and, and then he's like, and she's like, no, like a powder for my nose. And she's like, Pfft. like, that's, that's what I look like sometimes when I use this, and I use too much if I don't wipe it off, because I'm just like, oh, wait, hold up. Okay, so next for bronzer, I'm actually going to be taking this L'Oreal True Match. This is the Super Blendable Powder. I have shade here N6. I'm actually going to use this to contour. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually really, really emphasizing this jawline and trying to make my double chin disappear. <laughs> it's been such a struggle because I went back to part time at work just so I could focus more on my studies and I can uh, focus more on, on applying for internships um, and just trying to like, you know, just trying to be more myself. Um, and also like it's really helped out with me starting my YouTube channel. So I am so, so grateful, so, so thankful. But however, I've been sitting a lot more and I haven't been moving around as much. So <sighs> really need to watch what I'm doing there. And to bake my cheeks, oh, I just lost the lid. It's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge and dip the chisel side here into the Stay Matte Powder. And give myself like a really really nice chiseled line this is gonna make that contouring stand out much better and then more of my goat my goes my nose just for good measure so for brows today guys I'm really excited because I'm using something other than the Anastasia dip brow pomade yay I know some of you are probably thinking like <gasps> what However, today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil in the shade 300 Blonde. I really, really like this brow pencil too. And so you'll see for me, doing my brows with a pencil still takes me about the same amount of time as it does for me to do with a pomade. And see, I just prefer the pomade just because I feel like it makes my brows just look more defined, but I don't mind this either. Okay, cool. But one of the things that I really, really do love about this brow pencil is actually the tip. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but see how here it's almost like more of like a chiseled tip. There we go. That's better. See, you can see how it's more of like a chiseled tip. It's got almost like a more like diamond shape. There we go. Yeah, there's a really good shot of it. You can see it's almost like a, a diamond shape, almost like a teardrop shape. I really, really like that for a brow pencil because it really helps you either like fill in those really sparse areas and then you can get in and really define like those really, really um, like get in and define the tail too. I'm going to go ahead and take some Victoria's Secret Brow or Never Brow Gel and just run that through the brow. And since we're already here and nice and all zoomed in, I guess we can go ahead and jump into eyeshadow. I'm excited. So today for eye primer, I am actually taking the Ulta Beauty. This is the tinted eye primer in the shade Champagne. Oh my gosh, I am Butterfingers today. I cannot, mm. oh my God. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of that eyeshadow primer on my finger. So this eyeshadow primer is almost a little bit more like a white, like almost like a crystal -y. 
yeah, like a really, really nice, like iridescent almost formula. And then of course, gonna be blending that out with my sponge. Okay guys, so for eyeshadow today, I am actually going to be using, this is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Division Palette. This, if you are looking for a really, really nice dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think this was the, uh, crap, I really can't think of the name right now, but it was an Anastasia palette, the one that had, like, the really, really, like, bad fallout issues. I can't remember the name of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep going. <laughs> Ironically, I am going to be taking, this is the Anastasia brush that comes with their palettes, and I'm going to be dipping into this. This palette doesn't have shade names, but I'm going to be taking this, like, yellowy shade right here, and I'm going to be running that through the crease. I love this, like, mustard shade. Ooh! Oh my gosh! I was not expecting that much pigment. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot how pigmented this palette is. Oh lordy! And I'm actually going to be working this into the lower lash line as well, just while I'm here. I really love the way that, like, brighter yellowy shades really make my eyes look more blue. Like, if I'm doing, like, a blue eyeshadow or a purple eyeshadow look, they don't look nearly as blue. But, like, with yellows and oranges, oh my gosh. I mean, it's, it's simple art. Or, like, if you, uh... Remember back to elementary school how they would show us the color wheel and how like you know the opposite color was like its complementary color So red's complementary color is green blue's complementary color is orange Or is it yellow? Oh my gosh. Do I really not know? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh It's purple's complementary color is yellow blue's complementary color is orange So yellows and oranges will really make a blue eye pop The more you know Next up, I'm going to be taking that shade right next to this one right here, this more, like, orangey shade. And running that through the crease as well. I really like to use a variety of techniques when it comes to applying my eyeshadow. It could be either using windshield wiper motions like this, or I could be doing little circles. Sometimes I do a little bit of both, depending on the type of look that I'm going for. And depending on how big and, like, you know, how wide I want that blending to go. And then also going to run that through the lower lash line as well. I'm going to stick it more towards the outer corner. So next on the opposite end of the brush, I am going to be taking this shade right here. This like really, really like almost, it's more like a cool tone brown, almost like a purple color. Pack that right here on the outer corner. Subculture! Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry if I just like scared the crap out of you, but oh my gosh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, subculture. Okay, that was the eyeshadow palette that everybody was like, oh my god, the fallout. So if you don't know what fallout is, fallout is where the powder that when you apply it to the eye, it just kind of just like falls like all on your face. It is natural to have some sort of fallout from an eyeshadow. I'm not really, I don't really care when it comes to fallout. I mean, I'm not really the type of person that's going to be like, oh my gosh, this eyeshadow palette has fallout. It's trash. Wah. Like, I'm not, the, I, I don't mind it because especially if I know that I'm going to be working with an eyeshadow palette that has a little bit more fallout to it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, do my foundation last. But some people prefer to just do their base first. I don't really mind doing it second. I really don't care. I mean, as long as the look all comes together, I'm okay. And I'm so mad because I have a dry patch, like, right here on my eyelid, and it's driving me nuts. Like, I've been applying, like, serums, whatever else I can on it, and I'm just like, I can't get it to look nice. It's like a small pack patch of, like, eczema. 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 Whatever the way you want to pronounce it. It's dry freaking skin, okay? <sighs> And I'm also going to run that through here in the lower lash line, just at the outer edge. So now we're going to get a little adventurous. I'm going to take a little bit of this teal shade right here. And pop that right here on the center of the lid. See right here, this is fallout. And I'm still getting a little bit, but like I said, I really don't mind. And with this eyeshadow, I'm not really too worried about not being able to wipe it away. Because it this stuff does wipe away pretty easily and does not like drag across the rest of your face. So I'm not really too concerned. Okay, so lastly, for the very, very inner corner of the eye, I'm going to be using this green shade right here. I love this color. Oh my gosh, it's almost like gold. It's like a light, almost like a lime green. So pretty.
Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up this under eye area and I will be right back. Okay, so now that all of that powder is gone, I am actually going to take a little bit. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is the eye chrome. Uh, it's also it's like a liquid eyeshadow. I mean, it's not like a liquid eyeshadow. It is a liquid eyeshadow. I just like popping some a little bit right there and right there. And you can either use your finger or a brush today. For today's purposes, I'm going to be using a brush just to be a little bit more precise, a little bit more of the inner corner highlight. It's mixing in with this green perfectly, which is what I wanted. Today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Eyeliner. I really like the way that this looks. It's a really, really like unique looking like felt tip liner. really had to go in and like fix this eyeliner too because I don't know why but like my skin is just so freaking dry around my eyes and it's like getting to a point where it's frustrating because then now everything is just so dry that nothing is gliding across my skin <laughs> why why ah! okay I need to stop being so over dramatic okay so for mascara, I am going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. See how it's like very precise. It's almost a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, which I've heard a lot of amazing things about, but I just haven't tried it yet. But I've heard great things. Really like this because you can get each individual lash. I really love this mascara as like my no makeup makeup look mascara just because it's so precise. I mean it does take me a really really long time to get the desired effect that I want. However, once I get there I'm just like yes, yes. Like look at my lashes and how like defined they are. Do you see that? Oh, it's great. Okay guys, mascara is finally on, oh my gosh, 10,000 years later, but I'm just going to go ahead and zoom on out, and we're going to go ahead and finish up with lips. Guys, who am I? I almost forgot about highlighter. Oh! So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my highlighter first. So I have this really, really cute Color Story Illuminating Highlighter Palette, and I really, really love all these like really, really cool shades. They're really reflective, and oh gosh, like I really want to use this green. Look at how pretty that is. It's like, like, ah, like really pretty. And you can either like build it up to like a really, really like cool looking finish, or you can just sweep it on across your face and then it looks just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those two like greenish shades. Ooh, pretty. I'm excited. Okay. And I also popped those shades right here in the brow bone for a brow bone highlight. And so then today for lips, I am going to be using this NYX lip pencil. This is the shade Cabaret. Yeah.
Okay, so I just kind of went ahead and outlined my lips and I also did a little bit of filling in as well because I really want to do like a really cool like ombre lip. So for lipstick, this is from The Body Shop, the Color Crush lipsticks. I have this shade right here, this really, really pretty coral color. I don't really think they have shade names. I think it's just a number. So this is shade 225. Oh, that is so cute. Ooh. Love. Okay, so guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and melt in a lot of this other um, powder and whatever else that I have on my face. I have the, I'm gonna butcher this, the Mario Bodescu. Am I saying that right? Let me know down in the comments if you, if I'm saying that right, or if I'm wrong, correct me, please. Um, this is the aloe with uh, green, cucumber and green tea. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. I've been dropping things. I can't pronounce stuff. Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> And now for setting spray, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go Spray. Well guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos of me doing stuff like this. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.